Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day one of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, Series 11. And today's sketch is by Jessie B. Scrapbooking. She has a YouTube by that name as well as Instagram. And I love watching her create. She is so fun and bubbly. And I love this sketch. And I decided that I would start this month off with these amazing pictures of these absolutely adorable pups on Christmas. I promise I'm not going to have too much Christmas this month, but there will be a few. I'm trying to limit myself. <laughs> I got to have Christmas through the year for the 25th, right? So I am, I'm going to dive into, I've done one layout with this before. This is the Hip Kit Club Ho 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 collection. And um, it's a lot of lighter shades, not the bold brights. Um, and I like that. And that background paper is just a scrap from where I cut something out and decided I was going to mat this layout so that it would help it stand out even more. So that's just back there for that. All of these embellishments right here are from the embellishment kit from the Ho 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 Hip Kit Collection or Hip Kit, Hip kit Club. And there's some little clear stickers. I'm going to move that over so you can see that a little bit better. I'm going to use quite a few of those. Um, I just pulled everything that I kind of thought I might use from these two things right here, the clear stickers. And there really wasn't a whole lot from this chipboard thing that I was going to use because it wasn't going to fit uh, what I was doing. And I did not end up using those alphas, but I still have about six, maybe eight sheets of this paper left. Like I said, I've only done one other layout, I think. So I thought I might bring in the Festive Berries by Tim Holtz. However, I end up bringing in, because I have all six of the Winter Holiday Collection of the Tim Holtz Distress Mica Stains. And I thought maybe these would work best. So I, I brought them all over because I wasn't sure what. So I'm going to test those out and see which one I like and what's going to work the best. To go over here, predominantly on the right side, there looks like some scattering um, sprays or something. So I have my papers, my embellishments. I have my inks, my pictures. And of course, this amazing sketch by Jesse B. Scrapbooking. So let's see how this goes. All right, so if you are new to 30 Days of Sketches, welcome. It is one of my favorite things, and we do it three times a year, and it makes me so happy. And um, 30 sketches, although this month there's 31 of them, um, are created or are found. Originally, I believe, Christy just used to find sketches that inspired her, and she would post them daily, and people would create from them. But um, starting a little bit in the summer and then in um, October when we had our last one, they were all exclusive sketches. And it was really exciting because they were created for this hop. And most of them, if not all of them, I believe, are created by people who are hopping along with us. And so that makes it even more exciting. So, Jessie B is somebody I have been watching for quite a while. And I enjoy watching her create. And so this is just extra exciting. So I took one of paper, that one with the little triangles on it. And when I cut it, I didn't cut it in half because it was a little wider on one side on the left side than the right. Um, and I just flipped it to where it's just, I'm using only one piece of paper. And then I put those border strips that I already had as scraps, which is why I selected this paper specifically. Um, I also had my 13 year old tell me what he felt because I was debating between this sheet and another. And based on the scraps that I was using as little strips down the side, uh, this was the best paper to go with it. And I decided I don't like where the two papers were meeting and I wanted to bring a little something darker to the main part of this layout and not just the background paper. So I went ahead and cut a little piece of that branding strip and put it down the middle with some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. And then I set aside my um, layout um, while I build my um, pictures. So I am, 
I used the yellow because there's a yellow strip down the right side. And then I wanted, and plus it was a darker color, so it would stand out better. And so then the other paper is Christmas tree paper, and it's all scraps from the Hip Kit collection. I didn't use anything other than the inks and that black background paper that was outside of this collection. So while my pictures are sitting over to the side, I decided that I would create and do my splattery bits. So I did pick three of the mica stains and I will try and remember to link them below uh, one's like a red um, I think it's called hmm, I can't remember <laughs> one is Mary mint and that's like a obviously a green color one is um, something to do with cranberries I think and then I end up bringing in a pink one as well and like I said, I'll do my very best to have the names of all three of those below. <laughs> I can't make promises, but I'll try. So I let that dry while I worked on some other things. And in the sketch, um, it is a little bit to the right side. Sorry, looking for something new to watch on YouTube, I would assume. Um, and so I put my pictures in pretty much the same place up to the right top part of the layout so that there could be this cluster. Now on the sketch it's floral and I am going to bring a little element of floral in because I'm going to bring in um, some like holly berries and things like that. But first I'm going to start with this Christmas tree because I wanted to incorporate, you know, some Christmas stuff in here, not just the color scheme. So I put in the Christmas tree, I put in Santa, um, and then there's like presents and stockings, things like that. So these pictures are the bottom right is my dog, Rocky, getting his Christmas cookie for me and my kids. And then the one, I'll, the other one on the bottom is my Neff pup. Um, I didn't get a good picture of him eating his cookie because he, he likes to take his cookies and hide um, while he eats them. So I didn't get a picture of him eating his cookie. Fine. And then the two dogs is my Neff Pup Pax and the other little sweet Poochie, which is with him. And then by himself over on the other side is Blue, which is my new grand puppy. Now, I wish I had a picture of Tinkerbell, which is our Shetland Sheepdog, um, eating her cookie, but I, if you don't know, <laughs> my husband and I are splitting up, and he has the Shetland Sheepdog, so I wasn't there, and of course cannot always depend on him to get me pictures, so, um, although he does pretty good about that. Um, it luckily is amicable, so I get to see my dog pretty much whenever I want to. Um, so anyway, but I wasn't there when she got her cookie. So I didn't get a picture of her then. I did do some pictures of her earlier in February. So I definitely still get pictures of that hairy, beautiful girl. Um, so anyway, it's the only girl out of the bunch. My sister's dog is a boy. My daughter's dog's a boy and my dog is a boy. So I'm going to have to hunt down a picture of her. Um, to do, but I don't have one of her in the cookie. So, um, next year I will remember to just take it myself. <laughs> so I am just tucking and clustering all the different things. Um, little holly berries, there's a candy cane. I had a stocking there, but it got buried. So I wanted to pull that out. And then I put that little, um, like ticket down there. Um, and that's why I had to pull the stocking out because it was getting buried by the ticket. So, and then I thought it would be cute to have a little something up here. Um, it's not in the sketch, but I thought that it would look good up there and give me another little space. There really isn't another cluster space. And of course, the best thing about a sketch is it's something to start with, not necessarily the hard, fast rule. It's not like it has to be exact. You could definitely do that. Um, and for the most part, really, I kind of stick pretty darn close to the sketch, um, which is impressive for the first day. Uh, if you are new to watching my channel, I am kind of random. <laughs> my layout, I don't have like that signature layout. Um, I know a lot of people have certain um, styles that they stick with, but I'm kind of random and just go with the flow and do whatever 
feels good to me. Um, I do love sketches. I do love scrap lifts, but I also love to just kind of willy-nilly throw things together. I am the queen of using scraps. Um, I am using scraps on this layout right here, predominantly actually, except for the base page. Actually, not even the base page, the that background paper, not the very back, because that is actually a scrap too. So... <laughs> Um, I put this little thing on here and I think it says something like Santa, we were good this year, which I thought was super fitting since there's three of them and it's not just like one of my kids or something. So I do know that I'm going to do a double page, um, stretch the sketch a little later in the month. It will be Christmas and of course on the 25th will be Christmas. So I'm finishing things off. She has a title going down um, sideways down the page and I decided not to do that um, I just decided to title it with that little clear sticker that says I believe this brings us joy or something like that or so much joy so here is Jessie B's sketch again I hope that you all will try this out do whatever you want with it exactly how she has it or completely rogue turn it sideways on its head whatever you feel is best I did write the date up there um, yes, dear Santa, we've been good. Hmm, that is, the, those two up at the top, I'm certain. My rotten one, hmm, not so much. <laughs> but he's a great dog and I love him. Um, so anyway, I hope that you will come back. I will be here every day this month with 30 Days of Sketches, as well as some other hops that I participate in, and I'm super excited to share those with you. So I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll go check out the playlist because there's lots of people creating, and I hope that you have a fabulous day. Happy scrapping!